You know what, Ken? What? What? What, Ken? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's your cue. What, Ken? Oh, the oh dear me. The opinions that are about to be put forth by our illustrious leader here are not the opinions of everybody in Westfield, the studio, WCPC, Westfield State College, or Peter, who is on vacation. What's up, Ken? And might not make it back because he flies southwest. Oh, my goodness gracious. So what's up, Ken? I'm afraid you know, to I ask. I asked people to piss me off last week so I would have something to ramble on about. I, I don't think you need to ask. Yeah. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> That's no. unusual. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so what's pissing you off? Perhaps what I'm about to say will piss people off. All right. Go. The Pfizer-China virus vax has been approved for a third shot or booster shot. Right, right. I did my job as a citizen and got my two jabs when I was first able to do so. Okay. I was in with the 65-year-old crowd, and when I had to try to find a place... And that's when you had to try to find a place online to schedule you did. it. You did, yeah. Yep. You know, a few months after that, saw improved distribution of the Vax. Mm -hmm. You could get one just by walking into your nearest drugstore. Mm -hmm. There were drive-up and walk-in clinics. Mm -hmm. Getting a jab was super made super easy, and now here we are. Again. Our area has one of the lowest percentage of vaxxed citizens. <sighs> And the infection numbers show that way more than 50% of the people who have contracted the China virus in the past few months have been unvaccinated. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, it is because of these dip turds that don't want to get jabbed <laughs> that many of the communities <laughs> around us are now dictating that we are back to needing to wear our face diapers when inside and in some communities even when outside. True. I'm at the True. point where I say... Let Darwin take over. If you get sick from the China virus and you're lucky not to get jabbed, I'd feel no sorrow for you. Me either. Now, let's thin the herd instead of trying to achieve herd immunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most of these people had no issue with diphtheria, tetanus, or polio vaccines. True. Yet, because the man is now requiring it in many cases. I'm not doing it. Jab bad. Yeah. No, no. You know, you know, I'm sitting across from someone who suffered through polio for months and months and was lucky to end up alive. True. When the polio pandemic hit, they couldn't wait for a vax to be available. Right? You are absolutely correct. And you know, if we thin the herd, inflation could go down. Fewer people needing fuel, food, or toilet paper. Good point. Mm. Seriously, I'm... I'm tired of changing my mask four times on a flight when I travel since they end up soaked and disgusting with my runny snot and drool. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. So that brings me back to the booster shot. Okay. I, I see sat what back, you did there. I sat back and watched as the government begged people to get jabbed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I see people getting sandwiches and treats for getting their shots. Mm-hmm. I did the right thing when I was supposed to and got bupkits. I sit here right in front of you and I declare that until they offer prizes or treats for getting a booster, I will refuse to get one. Okay. And if that doesn't piss you off, for good measure, in order to piss you off, the Red Sox, the Bruins, the Celtics, and the Patriots all suck. Oh, oh, I, I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you said that. I was with you up until then. Usually I would say, let's pay our bills. We'll be back right after this. But I'm going to chat it up since I have a counselor interview starting at 835. <sighs> well, thank goodness that's over.